Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be explaining the instantaneous rate of change from the preceding side. So in class we're given an essay where we're going to demonstrate an understanding of the development of the IRC formula using limits. So I start with my function. I have a function x squared minus 3x plus 1. Now, when the function is drawn, the function is drawn as this. Now, the formula what we're given to find the slope of the tangent is f into brackets a plus h minus fa over h. And with the use of that, the formula, the slope of tangent is given as thus. So this is the slope of the tangent at minus 3. And when the slope of tangent is given, because we want to know the instantaneous rate of change from the preceding side, we have to create a point or a secant line or a secant point where it can show that we have this now the slope of the tangent is this now something we learned in class is showing us that the limit shows that as h is tending to move towards zero the h becomes smaller now we found the slope of the tangent that is the formula y equals to mx plus b and in this place my m is the slope of the secant and that is f into brackets a plus h minus fa over h creating this point now because we want to find another secant line we have to use the the tangent of a slope that is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 bringing this point about this green point now it is shown that we are to learn and we are to produce a graph where the secant line will become this now in the class in the former class we also learned that as the h becomes smaller the h also tends to move um, to move towards the slope creating or or minimizing the slope in the extent that it gets closer to zero hereby creating no slope now using technology because technology is a very good way of viewing such changes because we with technology we can view such instantaneous rate of change and we can monitor how the graph is changing instantaneously due to the point at h now as we move the h towards the slope of the tangent you can see that the secant line is reducing because at first the secant line was so much larger because of the distance between them but as we reduce the number of as we reduce the amount of the h put into the equation we can see that on our slider we can see that this the secant line reduces and as it gets towards the slope of the tangent you can see that it kind of overlaps creating the same slope of tangent and the slope of secant now th because of this it shows that the slope is undefined here it's undefined the slope of tangent is undefined now this shows that as as the slope at the secant line tends to move towards zero the the slope the slope of the secant tends to become undefined 
So this proves that the instantaneous rate of change from the preceding side is meant to move is not meant it's not meant to reach zero but meant to move towards zero hereby creating the limit as h is tending to move towards zero